Imagine just staring at your keyboard all day. Anyway, I'm Sailor Tortilla, and this is another Sailor Moon review. Check out my officially licensed Sailor Moon mechanical keyboard by Akko. Yeah, that's right. This is a legit item. And I'm going to show you some of the details here on the box. You've got all of the necessary, ooh, a QR code. Ain't that fun? Toei sticker, very important. And you'll see that these keys are jelly pink keys. They're not clicky clicky, but they're, uh, you'll, you'll see what I mean. And of course, the Toei sticker, very important to know it's official. Here's my other keyboard and how it sounds. Remember that sound because the Sailor Moon keyboard is going to be slightly different. Now we're going to get this open and the first thing I noticed was the ever important instructions. There are a lot of light patterns to this. It looks like a rainbow. Make sure you pause that for a QR code if you want more info. But yeah, this thing has a lot of different light functions. It's really cool. What's in this? I think this is where the cable goes. It looks like we also have a key grabber. What is this? It's for removing keys if you need to clean your keyboard or replace the keys with some cool custom ones. I love that the cable is pink. It is a USB-C and what's cool about this is it sits very flush with the keyboard. Now for the moment of truth, we're gonna get this open. I think that the colors are just, ooh, so pink and so stunning. We'll take a look at all the different keys individually and this is what it sounds like. Less clicky, but still a good amount of noise on a mechanical keyboard. I've used a mechanical keyboard for a couple years and I am a big fan. These are really great keyboards if you're into gaming. Ooh, especially with the rainbows. You'll see, look at the keys. We have Sailor Moon, her silhouette, a little M and a moon. This is really cool and you even have the crystal star up here. This is neat. They could have just slapped on a couple uh, red and blue keys and called it a day, but it looks like they really put a lot of thought into this and I really appreciate all the little bows. It reminds me of a nice transformation sequence. Ooh, Luna, hi! And ooh, okay, so season two inspired. Got it. I love the cutie moon rod. And you have, of course, your little volume buttons. All of this is functional. I have a Mac and I have no problem using this keyboard whatsoever. This is actually the second keyboard that Akko has made. The first one looked the same, did not have all of the fun LED lights, but you could choose what switches you got. That's that clickiness I keep talking about. And it has, of course, little stand to make your uh, wrist not kill you. Definitely always important to be comfortable when you're using your keyboard. So here's where the cable goes, and I really want to show you how it looks. It really just fits in quite perfectly and very flush. Isn't that satisfying? All right, quickly getting this plugged in here, but uh, here's a little look at what I'm trying to make of my Sailor Moon desk. That thing is a phone charger. Check it out on my TikTok. It's crazy. Wow, this, this looks really good, especially with my Chibiusa coaster over there. So I just got this plugged in. You're going to see this really fun animation. Look at that. If I, if I saw this every day turning on my computer, I'd be super happy. But ooh, oh yes. This is great. <laughs> okay, so I'm turning down the lights here so you can get an even truer view of the colors. These are super saturated and bright. I'm really impressed with how bright they are. Um, LEDs sure have come a long way since they uh, started. Oh God, did I just age myself? Anyway, watch me snap these lights back on and look how it still looks super bright. Stuff like bright LEDs is how I know that this is actually really good quality. And you can see how smoothly the colors change from one to the other. It's a really good first impression. But I know you came to see the colors and the lights, so we're going to turn off the... Ooh, yes! To get the full effect, you really have to turn off the lights. And all right, we're just going to run through some of the animations here. That's what you came for, right? Okay, so make sure you pause this here to know what the heck you're supposed to do to get all these different... Uh, colors and designs and brightness and speed and you get the idea so let's look at the first one this has got a cool ripple effect i'm going to turn off the lights here you can see the little shine moving across it like water very cool slowly cycles between the colors in case you get dizzy the next one is like a rainbow ripple you'll notice that this mode has like a breathing where it turns off and slowly on the next mode is the same without that breathing effect where you get that darkness in between so i actually thought that this mode was completely turned off until they started hitting the keys and realized that it makes your mid <laughs> It makes your fingers look like magic fingers. What's after this? Oh, look at that. It makes a whole stripe of magic fingers. This is going to be my new thing for the video. Fingers full of vigor. <laughs> Ooh. Okay, I, I think um, 
If you ask me, I, I think I like this one the best. It's very satisfying. This next one is like a delayed glow around your finger. Magic Sailor Moon Snake. <laughs> I get really excited switching the modes because I don't know what's coming up. Oh, this, what is this? Oh my god. What? This is just so extra. You know you can get this right now, right? It's literally on sale for $115 and it's, oh my god. I feel like I'm in the Magical Girl Matrix, but like not like the Matrix Revelations. That movie was terrible. So the next mode here is gonna take us back to Rainbow. This one's going from right to left with a couple of uh, keystrokes. You can also make the directions change. Look at that. It's a slightly different rainbow. I'm telling you, this has so many different functions, you will literally have a style for every day. This one's cool because it's just kind of always on. Oh. Yeah, this is... This is great. Don't worry, when you think you're done, there's another mode. This will keep you entertained even without surfing the internet, without playing games. You could even put it in front of your kid and just tell him, look at the colors, Timmy, look at the colors. I also like that you can just leave it on one color and you select that color. Ooh, have I seen this one before? This looks tie-dye. So yeah, if you want to stick with pink, do that. If you want coral, do that. Blue, more blue, pink again. These are the options. And you can also raise the brightness, lower the brightness, completely turn it off if you want to. There are also ways to change the speed. And while I was playing with the speed on this particular animation, I realized that I could also make it just one color in the animation. I, I'm really impressed by this. I didn't think this was gonna have this many customizable options. You can even watch me freak out here a little bit because I thought that I couldn't reset. Um, there is a way to reset them. It's actually really easy. Before I do that, I do want to show you this mode. I like this. Okay, I like it, Picasso. So here's how you reset. You just hit the two win buttons for five seconds. Dude, mechanical keyboards are cool because you can start off with this and you can even customize the keys and do whatever you want. It is fully customizable and I think I'm going to have fun doing exactly that. And there you have it, the officially licensed Sailor Moon keyboard by Akko. Let me know what you think and if you have any Sailor Moon tech. I think this is super cool and I like that it's useful and doesn't just sit on my desk and stare at me sitting on a moon. I'm looking at you, Sailor Moon figure arts. But nah, this is actually really cool and very, very satisfying. So I'm Sailor Tortilla and I will catch you on the next one.